Thursday's first video for you breaking news is about an Ethiopian journalist who remained in prison several times when EPRDF alliance led by Tigray Preparation Front was in power. Uh, now once again he has been arrested. Second new story is from Eritrea viewers where a company announced just a few hours ago that it has discovered large gold deposits in an area situated around 135 kilometers away from Asmara, uh, Eritrean capital. A third new story is from BG Benishangal Goma region. These minutes, I'm recording this video. Uh, Ethiopian Army Chief Birhano Jula, Ethiopian Air Force Chief uh, Yilma Mirdasa, and top Ethiopian generals are in BG. They arrived in Sosa a few hours ago. They arrived uh, by a private uh, jet. Who owns this private jet? Why is that Ethiopian journals are not using uh, Ethiopian government aircrafts or aircrafts of Ethiopian military? And what are they doing there? And lastly, this last new story is about uh, an Ethiopian journalist uh, who did several uh, stories about uh, human rights abuses committed in Ethiopia, especially in Tigray. Uh, then she was forced to leave the country. She's in exile. Now she's speaking about human rights abuses, especially committed against Tigrayans. We have a video clip for you. Uh, uh, let's start with a new story uh, from uh, Ethiopia, but a journalist who remained in prison several times in the past years uh, when EPRDF government was in power. Uh, this journalist. Uh, was arrested several times. He was uh, editor of uh, a weekly newspaper. Fateh was the newspaper launched in 2008. Back then, TPLF led EPRDF alliance was in power. From 2014 till 2017, this journalist remained in prison. Uh, his name is Tamaskan Dasalin. Uh, he was very critical of uh, the government back then. Uh, Skandar Naga was arrested back then, I think, and he wrote an article against Skandar Naga's arrest. And he said that that Malis Janavi's courts were kangaroo courts. He was arrested. Uh, he remained in prison for. Uh, several times uh, during EPRDF era. Now, again, he has been arrested. Uh, Damascan Dasalin was arrested a few hours ago from his office, Office of Fateh, uh, weekly magazine. Security forces detained him. Where is he? We don't know. Uh, but this crackdown on journalists is continuing. Journalists and activists, whoever is speaking against the ongoing military operation in the Amhara region is being arrested. List is getting long on daily basis. I'm updating you about arrests uh, ongoing uh, in connection with operation in Amhara region. Uh, two days ago, U.S. Embassy in Ethiopia released a statement against the arrests of uh, activists and journalists. Journalist bodies are also condemning these arrests, but this campaign against journalists is ongoing in Ethiopia. Second new story is from Eritrea. Before that, an update from Eritrea. Uh, a few hours ago, we reported about the death of an Eritrean artist and former uh, military officer. His name is uh, Arfain Nathaniel. He served in military. He was seen in the company of artists as well. Uh, he was uh, admitted to a hospital a few days ago. He died and uh, yesterday he was laid to rest in Eratia. Still no clarity about the cause of his death. 
Now it is being said that he suffered a stroke and he was hospitalized and later he died. But some say that he was beaten uh, and some have other stories. So no uh, reliable information but uh, Erfan Nathaniel has been laid to rest. Condolences to his family and friends. Uh, now, new story from Eretia is about uh, announcement by a company which is uh, exploring uh, for gold and metals deposits in Eretia. Name of the company is Alpha Exploration Limited. This company acquired exploration license uh, of uh, Karkosha project of Eratia in January, uh, Karkasha project in January 2018. So in January 2018, the company acquired Karkasha exploration license and it started its drilling work uh, at Aburna, uh, situated uh, around 130 kilometers away from Asmara, Eritrean capital. 19 drills were made, 19 holes were dug uh, and the company has now shared some results of this uh, drilling uh, uh, which has been conducting since January 2018. The company has confirmed that the drilling results are very encouraging there are large gold deport, deposits at Aburna. This uh, Karkasha project uh, has uh, large gold deposits and uh, an area, a 2 by 4 square kilometer area has these gold deposits. So good news for the people of Eratia, for the government of Eratia that uh, large gold deposits have been discovered, officially announced by this company. More exploration is underway uh, near this uh, uh, area. We know that Ethiopia has uh, a large potash mine as well where some companies are working but problem is that uh, the company, the government, uh, they don't have capital, they need money, they need cash to intensify their operations at the Nakil uh, potash mine. Now second very important discovery for uh, Eratia. In this area where gold deposits have been uh, discovered, Italians have been mining gold. They, they mined gold when they were here. Then locals, uh, uh, they have been mining as well using uh, local uh, techniques. Uh, it's a surface deposit because locals uh, don't have to dig very deep. Uh, it's surface deposit. That's why locals have been involved in digging as well. Now company is working. Uh, third, a new story is about uh, Ethiopian Army Command, uh, which is in BG these minutes. Top Ethiopian journals uh, arrived in Sosa a few minutes ago. You can see some pictures on your screen. Uh, General Birhano Jula, Ethiopian Army Chief. General uh, Yilma Mirdasa, head of Ethiopian Air Force, they landed in uh, Essosa a few minutes ago. They were warmly welcomed by BG's president and a security briefing will be held in Essosa. Now, they used a private air jet, uh, a private plane. You can see the picture of this plane. This is uh, the plane of a private uh, uh, company. Uh, Medrock Ethiopia is uh, an airline and uh, it is owned by Ethiopian billionaire uh, Sheikh Muhammad Ali Alamudi. Uh, now, why is that Ethiopian journals are using private jets? Uh, I think you have a military Ethiopian government. Uh, they have government uh, aircrafts. Why are they using private jets? What's wrong? 
is uh, Sheikh Muhammad Ali Ala Moody is investing on politicians and journals as uh, billionaires do mostly? Uh, and does he have some interest in BG? Or there is some problem uh, in Ethiopian Air Force, pilots are not available, uh, jets are not available. What's, what's wrong? Why is that private jets are being used by Ethiopian journals? Now, now, the meeting is being held uh, in connection with GERD. We know that uh, third uh, filling of GERD is about to start uh, in coming uh, weeks. But security situation in BG is still uh, not very satisfactory. We're seeing that uh, in neighboring Kamashi zone, uh, for the last three days, government offices have been closed. Shops have been closed. Uh, local officials are fleeing Kamashi towards Esosa. I have confirmed from the ground that uh, security situation, law and order situation in uh, Kamashi is deteriorating uh, and uh, armed factions like uh, Benishangal, Gomez Liberation Fighters and Romo Liberation Army, they have intensified their operations and we know that uh, a jailbreak was also reported in BG a few days ago and several prisoners escaped uh, and most of them have not been arrested so far. So at a crucial time when third filling of GERD is about to start in coming days, security situation is not improving uh, and in neighboring uh, Romia region, a military campaign against Romo Liberation Army is underway. Uh, that is why perhaps these channels are meeting in BG Benishangal Gumas. Lastly, viewers, uh, an Ethiopian journalist who was forced to flee the country speaking about atrocities committed uh, in Tigray. Her name is Lucy Kasa. Uh, she reported extensively about human rights abuses committed against Tigrayans, mostly, mostly. Uh, and uh, then we saw that her flat in Addis Ababa was raided. Uh, she had to leave the country. Uh, and now on international platforms, she is trying to raise awareness about atrocities committed against Tigrayans. She was invited to speak at UK's parliament a few weeks ago. And a few hours ago, she spoke at a conference organized by Oslo Freedom Forum. Oslo Freedom Forum organizes conferences in connection with human rights situations around the world. Uh, and there she spoke uh, about uh, Tegarai, about Ethiopian rights uh, situation. What did she say? Watch this clip of uh, Lucy Kasa. Thank you for watching. Ethnic Tigrayans who live in the capital and the rest of the country have been rounded up by government police officers arbitrarily detained, their businesses closed, have been taken to detention camps across the country. Many have forcefully disappeared, tortured, raped, and killed inside the camps. Others have been subjected to ethnic profiling and hateful rhetoric by government officials and activists, including the Prime Minister's advisor, who called them cancer, weeds, devil, and called for the erasing from history 